Hello there. Well, as anybody involved in business can tell you, the issue of finance and capital can be a problem. It's even more so for manufacturing because investment in manufacturing can take longer to produce an ROI than a lot of investors and financial institutions are prepared to contemplate. And although some major banks in the UK do have excellent manufacturing divisions, there's a sense in the sector, particularly among SMEs, that not enough banks understand their particular pressures and needs. Well, a new bank is being established to do just that. It's called Alba, and it's now in its first round of fundraising to get through initial licensing before a likely launch in 18 months or so. Leading the fundraising is Ewan Lloyd Baker of the fund management company Seismic. Ewan, was that a fair assessment of the situation Alba's trying to resolve? Um, well, I think the, the interesting thing about the question is it's a much broader question. Um, you know, a Alba is looking at focusing on a sort of a specific area relating to business banking um, brought to you by business people based on a sort of a high touch, high technology approach. And what that means is that, you know, back to the good old fashioned days of a relationship banker who's based in your region, who's based in your area, who understands what your you know, requirements are as an individual director, as an individual business leader, as an individual business manager, but also understands your business as well. Um, the broader, let's say, question about capital, access to capital for long-term investment projects um, is clearly one I think we could spend a lot of time talking about. You know, and, and the various governments have approached this in different ways. I mean, clearly, the British Business Bank, um, through the support it has, is looking at different areas and different ways of sort of venture investing, which is to be encouraged. But what really encourages me about the, the whole Alba Bank um, opportunity and, and the investment to sort of invest in a local based, local focused business is that actually you know, it's part of this circular economy piece where I think if we provide local capital through local banks to local businesses, then we're going to see local growth and local investment and, and local support. And the, the mainstream banking sector, obviously, going back decades, that's how they used to operate. They've been fleeing from that model for years and they've been doing it for a reason. They weren't able to make money out of it. Um, the, the proposition that Alba has is deeply refreshing, of course, but are, are you confident it's one, it's a business model they can sustain? Well, great, great question. And, and clearly, you know, the, 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 the experienced sort of bankers and, and the experienced experts um, at, at Alba, um, when they put together their business plan, I mean, they're, they're targeting to, um, in effect, take 3% market share over the next sort of 10 years for, for the SME banking market. And, and they, they reckon they'll have deployed up to about £4.8 billion worth of lending um, if they achieve that sort of market share which you know, seems like a lot of money on the one hand, but seems like a fraction of the overall market for this sort of you know, high touch, high tech um, focus. Um, in terms of, you know, is there money to be made out of this? Well, I, I, you know, clearly any investor is wanting to go into this to make a return, but I think it's, you know, it's a return with a, a wider sort of, let's say, uh, corporate social responsibility piece where, you know, I feel as though if I'm making an investment into a local based bank, which might be investing in my local based business, there's you know, going to be a, a positive knock on effect of that um, and a way that I feel I've got a much closer relationship with my bank, not just because I might be an investor in it. Um, and that's a personal you know, investment, but also because you know, they understand me and they understand my business. So you know, in, in short, yes, clearly. You're making an investment for a return, but I think it's you know, a, a return with also some social responsibility attached to it. There's some serious uh, manufacturing experience uh, amongst the people who are putting Alba together. Uh, tell us something about that. Well, the great thing, and again, it comes back to you know, a business bank for business people um, founded by business people. So if you look at the sort of the cornerstone investors and the founder investors behind uh, Alba Bank, uh, they're not actually, you know, bankers. Um, one of the leading ones and uh, cornerstone investor Jim McColl is a sort of seasoned industrialist, um, and I would say one of the you know, the UK's sort of leading entrepreneurs. Um, I've known Jim for sort of over a decade. Our paths have crossed um, because of various business interests, and you know, certainly when I was at Haywood Tyler and uh, and Peter Brotherhood, 
you know, he was um, held up as, as a great example of what uh, is possible if you take a long term view to investing in British manufacturing and, and British businesses. And I think, you know, that's a refreshing approach uh, for the for the for other investors and, and particularly you know, at this investment round is that here's a fintech opportunity brought to you, you know, with a SME focused bank by British you know, business people sort of for British business people. You mentioned your background uh, at Hayward Tyler and Peter Brotherhood. Um, tell us of that experience and how it shaped your views uh, on patient long-term capital and the need for it in the UK manufacturing sector. Well, I think often, you know, one of the challenges of, of capital per se is, is that it's incredibly, incredibly fluid. Um, and actually, I saw you know one of the headlines this morning that talked about you know billions of pounds worth of capital that have, in effect, flooded out of London and gone across to New York. Um, so, you know, one of the challenges I think we have is how, how do we, you know, make those opportunities attractive enough so that people invest capital into local businesses so that the capital can grow and stay local. Um, certainly, you know, the challenges that um, that we had at Hayward Tyler and, and Peter Brotherhood. Um, two sort of great, you know, engineering, venerable brands. We've got 350 plus years of, of sort of heritage and history between them. Is that often we were making long-term investment decisions that might be in a new building or, or in a new piece of capital equipment, which would stretch potentially three, four, five years, you know, down the track, um, which often is is a lot longer than you know the average investor's sort of time scale. So it comes back to having a relationship with you know, a banker or a funder that is aligned to you uh, and aligned to your business that understands that and, and then really can invest through the cycle. I note that uh, the, the investment round that you've just launched, um, you're seeking to raise five million, uh, but the minimum investment level is set really very low at 1,000 uh, pounds. Tell us why that was. Well, the, the, the idea and, and sort of the opportunity here, um, and again, I think it comes back to the fact that, you know, the business bank um, has been set up by Jim McCall and his sort of colleagues is, is to try and almost, I'm going to say, you know, democratise the, the ownership of a, of, a, of a bank, but do it in such a way that you know, I'm not talking about being a, a taxpayer and, and owning a stake in, let's say, the equivalent of RBS. I'm, I'm owning about being an investor, talking about being an investor and owning a stake in a in a bank that I think feels therefore much more tangible and, and much more real. And, and so part of that is, you know, clearly that there isn't, you know, we as Seismic, we're a fund manager. Um, we will have to go through, you know, vetting uh, those potential investors. They'll have to self-certify as, as high net worth or self-certify as sophisticated investors. But in effect, the minimum check size of a thousand pounds is really so that, you know, you as a business owner or, or you as a, supporter of, of a business sort of, you know, backed bank, um, have the opportunity to actually sort of, you know, put your money where your mouth is and, and get get stuck in and get involved. Well, Ewan, good luck with the uh, fundraising round. Uh, it sounds very attractive. Uh, uh, so, of course, uh, wish you all the very best with that. And of course, to Jim McCall and everybody involved in Alba, um, good luck with b developing a bank that uh, has those noble aspirations for the manufacturing sector. You and Lloyd Baker, thank you for being with us. It was a great pleasure to have you. Well, thanks very much, Nick. And uh, I look forward to obviously keeping you updated um, as we, as Seismic, um, support the ongoing development and growth and fundraising of Alba Bank and uh, yeah, see it growing into being a full-scale challenger bank. Well, we'll uh, very much keep in touch on that, Ewan. Uh, thanks again. This has been a special report from Sanut TV. I'm Nick Peters. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.